Okay, here is an original routine. I call it Jack's the Matchmakers. Okay, and I don't know if you knew that about these two characters here. But right now, as you can see, I have all of the kings on the left and all of the queens on the right. So in terms of the packet with all of eight cards here, they're truly as far away from each other as they can be. Okay, so let's go ahead and just close that up. I'm going to put the matchmakers over here for a second. We'll keep them in camera view. Okay, in an effort to mix the cards and to also bring you into the process, I'll go ahead and give it something called a Klondike Shuffle. And now I'm going to deal out the cards into two piles with random stacking decided by you. You want left on right or right on left? Left on right. Oh, I can pick it up. <laughs> Let me do that again. Left on right, left on right, or right on left? Right on left this time, okay? Note to you as a performer, you can do as many of those dealing outs as you like, okay, into two piles. Uh, we can deal into four piles in this way. Would you like the top row and the bottom, or vice versa? You want top on bottom. How would you like these stacked? Left on right, okay? You can do as many of those as you would like as well. Now, once the spectator is content that you've done enough of dealing into two piles and into four piles with them sounding in sufficiently to play an important part in all of this, go ahead and just deal out half the cards for drop them. The remaining half on the right, ask for the spectator to randomly stack these. Maybe they want right on left. Okay, now we're going to use our helper cards, the jack of hearts and diamonds who are our matchmakers and all we're going to do is we're going to deal out the cards into two piles and stack the pile that has a jack on it on top of the other so here we get jack of diamonds used to be at the bottom now we have jack of hearts down on the bottom of that packet so we're going to put the jack of diamonds on top let's do that again just like that We'll put the jack of hearts on top, okay? So let's just take a look. Have the jack of hearts and diamonds being able to pull off their perfect matchmaking? Well, let's just take a look. So two cards there, two here, two here, two here, and the other jack. Were they able to perfectly match up these kings and queens? So let's take a look. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, per perfect match there, and there, and there. Very good. Okay, well that is proof that these two jacks are indeed consummate matchmakers. Okay, so if you just do everything that I did, it works perfectly. Um, it's using just a, a couple of principles. Uh, we started with a cyclic packet. So that idea is talked about on my channel. <laughs> if I can build it correctly. So clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. That's essentially how I started. Okay. So it's a cyclic packet. So a relative to suits. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. And then from there, if you remember, we just gathered these. And then I did a Klondike shuffle. That's This is where you take the top and bottom off as one. Okay, like that. That converts it to, quote, a mirrored packet. So now those couples will be on mirrored ends, on opposite ends of the packet, okay? Now, because this is a mirrored packet, you have the stay stack principle, which means for every divisor of the packet size, the packet size here is eight, two divides evenly into eight, you can deal the cards into two piles with random stacking. It won't hurt that characteristic of the packet. Four divides into eight perfectly. You can deal into four piles in this way with random stacking top on bottom or bottom on top with random stacking here. It is, quote, mirrored still. There's the clubs, diamonds, spades, hearts, okay? And then to get it back to, quote, a two cycle, just still out half the cards with random stacking decided by the spectator, okay? So essentially, we're back to the kind of thing that we had before. It won't be exact, but if you look at it, it's a two cycle now where we have hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs, okay? And so these little matchmakers, maybe we'll put hearts on top, diamond on the bottom. What will happen here, you just deal it out, 
and then always stack the pile that has a jack on top on top of the other. Do it twice. Okay, like that. It will have brought those pairs together perfectly. Okay, so the top pair, the next pair, <laughs> the next pair, and the next pair. These will all be perfect pairings of those royalty cards. Okay, well, that's the uh, mechanics and some of the mathematics behind it, but it's something that anyone can do right away, just following those few steps. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.